estranho, era estranho. difficulties as usual. So one more. Restart. So for some reason the um, Twitch is not working on the laptop next to it, so I can't actually follow the what's going on in the stream. I can't even see the stream. No idea what's going on. So, for the first five minutes, make your coffee, lean back, and uh, enjoy the shit show that is the coffee cottage trying to deal with technical shit. here at the house so it may have uh, messed a bit with the electronics happens now and then maybe the laptop didn't like it we'll see why do I have so much shit here okay I can see that the, uh, the camera's frozen for some reason, which it apparently it does in Slay the Spire. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, well, I can also hear myself, so that's interesting. So I'm gonna turn that one down a bit. There we go. Turn out the sound in there. One. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay, so I can move. I don't know what all this shit is. Alright, okay. So if I actually move. It should be done in this one. Uh huh. Can I just move that up a bit? Uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Like that? Let's see what happens. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that means okay. So it's right under that one, right under that one, so we can still see that should be fine. Now okay, so as long as I'm in the OBS, the camera seems to be working. Hello buddy. So I um maybe you guys can help me with something, because uh the moment that I switch from OBS into the game, the camera freezes. So if I do this, hmm, then it should basically be frozen on me holding my hand uh, when whenever it updates. There you go. And yeah, so I'm now in the game. As you can see, the mouse is moving, but the camera is frozen. Why? 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 That makes no sense.
so uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna capture a random picture of me, and then we'll just uh, we'll go with that. So uh, let's see if I go here, and I then go here, and let's see if we can find a weird. Look, here we go. Ready? There you go. That seems about right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. That face both says welcome and I know this is weird shit. Anyway. <sighs> Okay, so I am fairly new to Slay the Spire. I have played it enough to have unlocked the... I've never played... I don't even know what this one's called. The Watcher. So I'm not going to. Uh, I have played Ironclad. I've played the Silent. And the Defect. I am... I like the Defect more than I like the others. I like the Ironclad the least. The silent can be fun, but the defect is definitely more fun for me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to try and do a normal run just from the beginning and try and talk through what's going on because uh, I am very much still learning. Embark! <laughs> so, uh... I don't think it's no it's it does the same it's every time I jump into the game like when I I tried using uh, full screen and borderless for the game just to see if that made a difference it did not um, this was actually when I when I was trying to when shall I wanted to try and sit and stream I actually did it with slay the spire first and then it just kept freezing the camera I had no idea why so I had to jump her into Vermintide and just have it, you know, sit in the load screen of, of Vermintide. Because for some reason... But, but there are so many people streaming Slay the Spire. And they don't have any issues, it seems. I don't know why our setup does not work with Slay the Spire. Because I should just go into the OBS, choose what game to capture. And then it should be just same, same. But it is not. So I think I'll just... I'll keep that goofy face on that one while I play this for this time and then we can see if we can find a solution at another time. Um All right, okay. So what what's on this screen? We have health, we got money, we have there's a map. This is the map that we're going to go through. It consists of question marks, which is unknown, can be as far as I know anything, can be fights, can be Bosses can be random events. Uh, you got merchants. Do we have any merchants? Down in the beginning. Yep, there we've got a couple. Okay. Uh, merchants have various cards and relics for sale. And also you can remove cards at a cost. Um, we can talk about that more later. Uh, let's see, my fat face is in the way of that, isn't it? We'll see how much uh, where the camera would be best placed as we move along. But for now, uh, we'll keep it there. Uh, treasures are... Uh, should be up here. Yeah. These are guaranteed relics. Uh, then we got rest sites. You can regenerate health by resting. Or you can use it to smith and upgrade your cards. Uh, there are also various relics and things that can happen during the game where it will allow you to do different things while entering rest sites but we'll see if that happens regular enemies and elite enemies elite enemies drop relics relics are a very powerful thing like this thing up here this is the cracked core uh it is my starting relic as the what was he called defect the defects right there uh that generates a lightning orb whenever I start combat um, 
Relics are good. We want relics, but uh, elites are bad. We don't want to fight them. We do, but we don't want to die to them. So we kind of need to make sure that we're strong enough before we take on elites. And finding that balance or finding out is, I guess, just a matter of experience. We try it out and find it. also there are many different elites and they do different things. So there's a, there's a lot of information to, to take in in this game. When you choose a path, wherever we choose to start, like if I start on this path, I'm kind of locked to this. I can't jump over here. If I start on, on this one, for example, I now have a choice. I can go this way, I can go this way. So if I wanted to go more of this, because if, every time you kill something, I believe you get gold. So if I wanted to get a little bit more gold before I hit a shop, I would go that way. Uh, right here, the very, like after the first fight, we're straight into a shop, we don't have that much gold. We're also forced to fight this elite. We can't go around it. Or if we go this way, we can kind of <laughs> avoid the elites if we want. Uh, let's... We can also, if we feel like it, after this one, we can grab one elite and then... So we'll, we'll, make, we'll have to make a choice here because that one elite is at the cost of two fires, which would be two upgrades. But we can, yeah, no, no. we'll see, we'll see. First of all, we have to talk to the this one. We are offered uh, a few options. We can transform a card, which makes it a completely random card. Right now, this is our starting deck. We have four strikes, we have four defense, we have a channel lightning, and we have a dual cast. Now, these are very standard cards and not very powerful which means we either want to get rid of them transform them or maybe upgrade them if we don't get anything better i think most of the time when i've seen other people streaming they're trying to get rid of especially the strikes we'll, we'll see this is all new uh, we can also obtain a random common relic. I don't know the difference between common, rare, whatever. I don't even know which relics are there, so uh, I don't know if this is good. Uh, this would this can be anything. It can be great if we get the right card. It can also be meh if we get another weird card. Oh, that's my phone saying that it's uh, four o'clock, which means absolutely nothing. So that alarm is just there, I guess, to <laughs> remind me that time is still a thing. It's still moving. In. All right, okay. Uh, we can also lose all our gold, apparently, all 99, and receive a rare relic. I think the problem with relics is that they're completely random, and you can get a really good one, or you can get a really shitty one. Uh, some relics are really good for certain characters, classes. I don't know. I don't even know if they go across carrots or if it's... It, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played it that much. Okay, uh, we can also lose our starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. Okay, so I assume they're common, rare, and boss relics. Let's transform a card. Let's transform a strike. So, this is what's happening. And then whenever I click... It'll stop, and we will have something. Now, there are a few of them that I would be very, very interested in. Uh, there's a few of them that is just fine, and then there's a bunch of them which is crap. I would uh, really, really love the one that grants me powers all the time. Uh, that, that would be amazing. Uh, all right, so we're just going to click random in three, two, one, click. Buffer. So, buffer is all right. It prevents the next time that we would lose health. It costs two energy, and we have three, as far as I remember. Uh, let's try and hit this shop. There weren't any other shops further up, right? No, okay, so that's our only option, is these three. This one we're forced to fight. Not just an elite, but apparently the burning elite is stronger. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so I think we go this way. Grab an update. 
upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Maybe let's, depending on what cards we get along the way and what we find at the shop. If we find a good one, we might fight this elite. Uh, once we take this path, we can't get into any of the others. No. This one is also blocked by an elite if we wanted to go that way. We could, if we get some good ones right here, we could basically go elite. Camp elite. Go this way and get a few. So one, two, three. That's only three. And this one we get one, two, three, four, five. Five upgrades. Right now, none of these are that important to upgrade. I mean, if we don't have anything else, it's nice to upgrade it. So. Look at the chat, god damn it. Alright, uh, let's see. Add a new webcam like shown on the messenger, it might help you, but okay, I'll, yeah, I'll try that later. Alright. Um. Uh. Yeah, it's nice with a lot of upgrades, but if we don't have the right stuff to upgrade, it may not be that important. Let's see what we find on the way here. Start with this one. Alright, so we're being attacked for six. And oh, we blocked five. Great. Uh, Alright. Let's try not to take any damage to begin with. So apparently this one, whenever hit, gains seven block. Oh, it buffs itself. Okay. Increases attack damage by three. Well, this one's dead. We'll do another lightning. This one has seven health left. If we dual cast, it evokes our next orb twice. So it's this one. Evoke means it deals eight damage to a random enemy. It'll do it twice, so that's more than dead. Job done. All right. We are offered a beam cell. Uh, zero cost. Deals three damage, applies vulnerable. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. All right, okay. We can also have a chill that channels a frost for each enemy in combat and then exhausts, which means you can use it once and then it's out. Um, it's both good and bad. That it's out means it, it's not also not in the rotation, which means the other cards that we're having will come up that more often. Uh, block is very nice. I believe when you upgrade this, it becomes innate which means that you will always start with this card in your hand. Which I think if you have multiple enemies would be very nice because it's a zero cost and it will create from one to however many enemies. Uh, yeah, so. I, th I think that's definitely my choice. Right now, stack gains block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. Right now we only have 10 cards, so Right now, it's not that important. If we had a huge deck, mm -hmm, uh, it would it would be better. So I'm going with this one. Random event. Let's see. We can gain 175 gold. We will become cursed with doubt, which whenever we draw it, we can't play it. And at the end of our turn, we will gain one weakness. Weakness, uh, was that the thing where, no, that was a vulnerable. So weakness, I believe, makes us do less damage with our physical attacks. <clears throat> However, if we look at the map, we are only two fights away from a shop, and we can remove a card at the shop, and we can remove at, I think the first time you do it, it costs either 50 or 75 or something. So we would still have a net gain of 100 gold if it was 75 costs. So that would give us more money to buy more stuff with. So I'm gonna take it. Thank you. We could also, technically, we could also go to this shop, remove it immediately, see if there is anything interesting and if not, we'll just leave the shop alone, go to another, get a bit more gold, and then go to the next one. Should we do that? 
We should. We should. We should. All right. So. All right. Immediately we have lovely things. Oh shit. All right. There's a lot of cards here that I that I like. We don't have money, obviously, to get everything. Now, okay. So we have the two attacks, two skills, and a power. And then some random skill skill. Okay. And then we got relics, potions, and cop removal. Right now, some of these cards I feel might be good enough that we just accept that we have a curse. Uh, Apotheosis, I like. I remember this card very well because it upgrades all of your cards for the rest of combat. Which means every single strike, every single defense, every single card that we have will be upgraded for the entire combat. Just by playing this card. I mean. That's nice. We could also go with the data disc. This is a uh, relic. That allows us with uh, to start each combat with one focus. So the orbs that I was generating. If you remember. We had the lightning orbs that. Uh, yeah. They, they, they do three damage passively. every At the end of every turn. We didn't get to see that, but if I have this, they would do four instead. It basically increases both the, the defense orbs, the, the frost orbs, and the lightning orbs by one. So it would be one more defense, one more damage, and it's for each of the orbs. So that is that is very nice, especially in the beginning also. Uh, we can start each combat with 10 block, which means we don't have to worry too much about round one, because we have... 10 automatic block this one I don't think I care about uh, whenever you break an enemy's block apply to vulnerable it's not that, that interesting to me this one I really really like um, this gives you a little bit of block but it allows you to go into your draw pile and pull out a card and put on the top of your um, normal draw pile uh, oh no no, 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 sorry. It goes into your hand. It says, write down the fucking card, just read it. Okay, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. So, and then it exhausts. However, if you upgrade it, it doesn't exhaust. Which means you have an option to play a card, go into the discard pile, pick it out again, and then play it again. Sometimes that is nice. Self-repair, I like because it's it's self-healing. It's um, just keeps you going, you know? I would be very interested in... Well, this allows us to not have to worry about too many campfires, right? Because everything is just upgraded. This allows us to heal after each fight. This gives us some selection. This increases, but right now we currently only have, this will generate a frost orb. This will do lightning, this can be repeated, but this is just one. So right now our orbs are not that powerful. So I think we don't take this one. Right now we are relying more I think on our cards there might be a very very adept player sitting out there just pulling his hair right now just going no 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 but eh, we're here to learn um i am kind of torn between getting the apotheosis or getting hologram and self-repair apotheosis is nice once it's played and since we draw each round we draw what six cards seven cards and we only have 12 so we're guaranteed to get it either on the first one or second which means i mean this becomes a zero cost yeah but does the same uh what does this do next two times but still cost the same this became innate okay all right um and the rest is just like these will just do extra damage right and the blocks will block for more yeah 
but it kind it is kind of a big deal. At the same time, we do have another shop right here. Where we could go for more cards. So maybe we go with this one. And remove the curse. Oh man, this is hard. This is it's a hard choice. Okay, cancel this one. This would be nice because it gives us some self-sustain that we don't have to hit the fireplaces. It also allows us to use more fireplaces for upgrades rather than resting. It is at the end of combat, which means we still have to survive the combat. This would make us go through combat a lot easier. But this also uses basically all of our gold, because if we're using 182, we'll have 107 left. Which is not going to be enough if we go to the next shop. Are we hoping for better stuff at the next shop? If we do this one, we'll use 47. We'll still have a good deal for the next shop. Right? But man, I'm not... It... It mm, upgrades everything. Fuck it. All right. And then, okay, we're not going to go to the next shop then. I'll remove this. This may have been the wrong choice. But fuck it. Okay, so we could also take an event and hope that we get one of those that give you a lot of gold. We just had one that gave us gold. So do we think we're going to get another one? I don't know. Uh, this gives us a card, guaranteed a card. Which we can upgrade with apotheosis. So let's do that then. Okay, okay. So, this is kind of shit. If I dual cast. Okay. Now we're definitely taking damage here. We can, okay, we can be lucky. If I dual cast this. And both these eight and eight hits this one, then we can buffer this one. If it doesn't, well, then we're just kind of fucked. So, regardless, of course it didn't. <clears throat> All right, and this one's gonna hit first, which means we're gonna mitigate this one and get seven damage but then the others are not upgraded so do we accept taking 12 damage to get everything upgraded or do we only take <coughs> only take seven slide all right so this is how that works uh, So we can't kill anything. We can only block for this and then put this one in. Okay, so still take one damage. Bonk. Hmm. Okay, I can do that and then this, and that's enough to for full block because of the frost orbs. <coughs> play dual cast here we would just get the frost orbs so that still wouldn't do anything just keep the damage there we go okay <clears throat> took a bit of damage we got a fire potion that deals 20 damage and we got oh nice oh shit okay three very very good cards now 
aggregate gain, we gain an energy for every four cards in our draw pile. Right now we only have 12 cards, which means we're not getting a very, very good turnout from that yet. But as our deck grows ever larger, that will become more and more amazing as having more energy will allow us to play more cards. However, Capacitor gives us another two orb slots, which means we can have more frost, we can have more lightning. Uh, we currently don't have too many ways of playing orbs because we only have that one lightning and then we have the frost one that ex that exhausts whenever we use it. So. I might just go with the extra energy for now just because that would allow us to play more defense and attacks which is what we have right now uh, and also this becomes stronger the more cards we add 51 gold I mean we're not gonna waste our time with that right there might be one on sale. And also, if we choose this or this, we have to fight this elite. I think what we were, what we want to do is we want to get this upgraded. We want to upgrade this, maybe upgrade this and this. So the few cards that we do have that are interesting, we may want to upgrade. So let's hit this, even though we're not going to buy anything. Oh. <laughs> Man. Sad face. This is a nice block card as well, because it's a zero cost. It will decrease by one every time you use it. The good thing is it's zero cost, which is good for like a panic thing. And it's the only thing we can afford in this shop, if we want it. Do we want it? I like a zero cost. Upgrade. I'm not sure what these do. It has the same shape as this one. So you need what three keys? For what? Okay. We're gonna. Does this make it? What does this do? It makes it cost only one. Okay, that is nice. However, might be unnecessary. This is for every three cards. We now have fourteen. I mean, it would be more energy, more energy to play this also if we need, yeah. It doesn't matter, we're just uh, trying out stuff right now. Okay, transform a card, yes please, thank you very much, we'll do another strike. Alright, what are we hoping for? I think we're hoping for... Uh, Okay, Meteor Strike is a very, very nice card. The problem is, it costs five. We have three. But now with Aggregate, if hitting the same turn, early turn, by the way, because it's taken from however much we have in the draw pile, which currently can't be more than, what, seven? So that's two more energy we can get, so that's exactly five. But it costs an energy also to use it. Hmm. Guess we need more cards, but this eventually will become very, very interesting. Also, all our energy needs are now uh, met, or we don't have any worries anymore because this gives us energy, and these plasma orbs gives us energy if we can get this done. All right, uh, let's upgrade some more. I'm not comfortable with fighting elites yet. I don't feel we have. Too much amazing stuff. I'll does this go down and no it does not, it just does more damage. I'll I'll make this innate so that we always start with it so we can get that frost off quickly. We're gaining a relic. Meal ticket. Oh, I guess that's the second oh, are we missing out on some stuff? I'm not gonna worry about this on the first run through. Uh we, we can check this out next time. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 health. Okay. Another upgrade. Oh, oh, so apparently at all the rest sites you can recall that thing. Yeah, sorry for that. 
stupid. Slowness. This makes it zero cost. This is zero cost. However, all of these become upgraded once this is played. So, all right, let's fight the rest of the way up there. Um, nice. So we do this, do this, and we just end the turn. Because there's no reason to play this. It's not doing anything right now. Okay. Uh, six. So now, as you can see, we can believe this. I don't want to use this one because it goes down by one. It's unnecessary. We can't do any damage right now. We can play this, which blocks this completely. We can also play Buffer, which gives us the next two times that we would be hit, that it absorbs it. Which means that we can probably have a... probably two rounds where we don't have to block if we don't... if we don't want to. Now, the problem... Let's see. No, that's actually quite good. Right now, we have three energy. We have six cards left, so this gives us two for the price of one so we get one more which means we can play everything okay uh well we could that anyway if we didn't play aggregate so all right we want to evoke this twice dealing some damage we want to do this one so these eight plus these two blocks everything and then we just strike and strike Yes, we defend. Next round, please. I am sensing a uh, lack in offense here. We got a weakness potion. We'll add a card. Channel X lightning and then exhaust. Recursion makes us evoke the orb and then channel the exact same orb. Okay. What is that upgraded? Zero cost. That's not bad. Okay. I did say we we're missing a bit of uh, <coughs> damage. Uh, deal. So I'm going to reduce this card's cost by one this combat. So that ends up costing zero eventually. I think that's a good card here in the beginning. We don't want to upgrade because we'll use Apotheosis to do that. Now, this is good because we got Aggregate at the very beginning. We have more than nine cards, so this would give us th two more. Yeah, three energy plus the one it cost, minus the one it cost. So we get this. Also, there are two enemies that gives us two orbs. Uh, we can play the buffer. We have a defense. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this does first. Of all. It did not help us the way that we wanted. Fine. So that's nine. It doesn't take the full. Okay, so here's the problem. Um, I don't, well, I don't really have a choice. But the the thing is, it attacks for eleven, which is not enough for this. So <clears throat> the five six seven eight nine the nine that it blocks uh the last two damage will then remove this so we still take the full six damage i believe yeah and then that's annoying okay so we just want to remove this We can do this, and we get to play this one. Here comes the upgrade. So, this, this, done. Okay, more damage. Guess we can do that. We take more damage. No, we did not. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lightning. Oh, I have to remember that. Okay. 
there we have the hologram, the one that I like. I also like these because they're slightly better block. They also give us energy next turn. But again, we were not lacking of energy. I think we take this. Uh, let's do that. Just get that energy up there. We can play this, this, and we don't really have much of a choice. We're just going to take some damage. This is why I like that self-repair back at the shop, where we would heal for seven after each combat does make a difference I feel so we have full block with this one we can then prep for next round with that one so basically our only chance right now to to play the meteor would be if we get aggregate and meteor in the first round together all right, so, okay, let's see, if we do this, and then we hologram this, hello baby. No, I'm doing sweaty. <gasps> oui. that, 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 yes, that looks cool. That's very nice. Blueberry, that cheesecake. blueberry cheesecake. It looks amazing. Did you do the plating? That looks really good. I best think travel was on neighborhood. Nice. That looks very good. Like Me. Husband, I never do for husband, eh? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sad man. <laughs> I followed him. But the layer cannot. It's very, very uh, the layering is the, yeah, it's diff difficult. But I like it. It looks really, really good. That looks nice. You take pictures of it. I do follow them. Yeah. I'm very impressed. I really like the plating on that one. It looks really nice. You've done it very beautifully. Not beautiful. It is beautiful. Because actually this one more. But because this one maybe not relative enough. But I tried the test already before I do some more. I like it. It looks good. Does it taste good? Yeah. Are you sure? Try. I have to do some more one also. I was I was kind of going towards maybe I should try. Cannot. <laughs> Cannot. All right. Who you make it for? The me, eh? Oh, it's uh, her birthday. That's right. <laughs> sorry about my memory. I'm old. Right. I'm sorry, I'm not doing for you because I'm fat. I know. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. But because maybe have to wait them before we put in because actually. Uh, shy. I have to the first layer, 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 next layer, next layer, and then wait a little. But bit. this one more sick, yeah. Yeah. This one cannot fix, but do first time. So. Nice, cool. Say hello to uh, Jenny for me and happy birthday. Yeah. All right. That is the uh, usual interlude that we have here in the coffee cottage. My wife walking in with uh, some kind of news. <laughs> oh, she's so fucking charming. Anyway coffee let's see um what are we getting here Ooh. well there are two car cards here that i really like i really like glacier because right now we only have the exhausted card that gives us frost this is both a block and it channels to frost the core surge would be for later purposes if we're finding i forget the name but the one that gives us powers one of the powers that we can get is called a bias cognition or something that it gives us formal focus but then we lose a focus every round thereafter and we can actually go down to negative focus and just like lose all potential power however an artifact negates a debuff which means if we played this first and had the artifact and then played the bias cognition, the negative effect of it, us losing a focus every round, would be negated, giving us an extra four focus permanently. However, this 
is dependent or, or that thing depends on us getting another card however if we do get that other card and we don't have this one we're gonna cry however right now for our immediate survival and playing purposes i think a glacier is better with a bit of frost orb generation we are very defense focused aren't we this defends 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 this we can't play that much so we have this as an offense this and only these two the rest of them i think if we move more remove more cards it might be these but or the, the defense but i think for now we go with that one i i do like frost or generation now look at this one two three four five enemies yes please However, this is 21 damage. We have 10, 16, 21 block. Okay. And we can kill one of them, so we didn't even need that. That's fine. We don't want to dual cast and remove this. Uh, we can play that just because we're not conserving energy between rounds. Let's see. Alright. Apotheosis. Upgrading everything. Right now we got six block. We're taking ten. We can play this. Is there a different way that we want to go? No. I think. Well, if we play the hologram, we get five block, which is enough. We still have an energy, so we can do a strike, right? That's better than just defending. Who do we want to hit? We hit for nine. Let's do that one then, because that I think these two are going to attack next round. I'm assuming since they're not attacking this round, they're debuffing or something. So I'm guessing they alternate between. It's just a guess. Oh well, there we go. All right. Okay. Aggregate is not going to help us in this situation because if we play this, we will have enough block. I believe we can play a strike. We can play sap, no matter what. Anyway. So that gives us three. We're not sure that it hits this one. If we play this one, we can kill one of these outright. We got nine block. Which if we kill this one, we still need more block. If we play this, we block everything. And can just play one strike. Right now we have weakened. So our strike only does six damage. I would say we block and take this one out. And then we'll do random three damage to anyway, okay. Right now, I don't want to take too much damage. I'm gonna because we don't have a way of uh, self healing. Um, okay, so now we can use it. We got nothing but defense. All right, okay. So we need to get rid of some of these defense, and then. Uh, get some more offense because with these small fights it's fine but there are fights where the enemy ramps up higher and higher and does more and more damage the problem with that is oh, wait, oh no we don't want to do okay wait, 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 wait. okay hologram what another sap and then just defend yeah, because we don't have an attack, right? No, no attacks here. Just the only, the only offense thing we have is to do this. So that's six damage to random. It could hit that one. That would be nice and lovely. So we we'll just do more, more defense. Definitely need damage. Definitely need damage. Okay then, fairly confident if we do this and this, we're good. 
Yeah. We don't even have to play any cards because the orbs will kill it anyway. Still will still do it. <laughs> Alright, okay. We definitely got damage here. <clears throat> this is very nice damage as well. Random enemy, twice. I'm not too keen on the random. This is <clears throat> more playable with the aggregate. Also, if we kill an enemy, we just immediately gain the energy back. So it's kind of like a delete button for one small creature. But again, it is one of those big cost cards that uh, kind of leaves us with no other choice. If, if we play it, we can't really do anything else. This just adds more damage to our to our deck. <clears throat> uh, fuck, let's try. It looked big and nasty. So, do we heal and get our last health back up? Or do we smith and upgrade one last card before we jump into the fight? Now, obviously, if we get Apotheosis, um, everything is good, everything is upgraded. The good thing about that is this one will not exhaust. Otherwise, we just can't play this before we upgrade it. Unless we upgrade this now, then it doesn't exhaust. Um, this doesn't matter. Because it's already upgraded. Um, I think. I think we just rest to have max possible health. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. Yeah. Uh, slime. Shit. Okay. So. Okay, so with this one, it allows us to play both the buffer, the glacier, and this one, and we can then do another one like this. Okay. Slimed. Okay. We don't want to play this yet because then we can't get it back. It's not doing anything to us right now. When its hit points is at or below 50%, it will split into two smaller slimes with slime boss's current hit point. Okay. So we need to get to 70. Okay. All right, now we can't really do much other than that. Thirty-five. I'm very happy that we have the buffer. Uh, we'll just defend as much as possible. Doesn't matter because we're not going to defend for thirty-five, so it's still going to get through. Whatever gets through, we'll remove this one. But we don't take any damage. Okay, choices. Sap nine and nine. nine? We do 9-9, nine, nine. that's 18 or set, or we could just do this for 32 whooping damage. Which gets us closer to the 70, but not quite. Let's do that. We can still do this. Okay, so we need to do 6 damage next round in order to make it split up. But then it will be 2 with 70 health. So we want to do as much damage as possible. Couldn't get it up to that 5th. Okay. Um, makes it deal less damage. Oh, we can add... Oh, okay, okay. So if we do this, now it's at 56. We do this. That means... That both... The two creatures will have 36 health. 
33. Nice. We would have liked that to be 32, however, because, uh, we got three dead, we'll do we'll get that one. Okay, so we'll hologram this bad boy. Smack that one. Let's get that slimed out of the way. They're not attacking right now. This one is splitting again, I'm assuming. So we don't really need to do much else. Man. That's not good. Okay, more slime. Six damage, so it's that's, that's a lot of damage. I don't, I don't like it. Alright, let's try and is it how many times are they gonna split? Like will they just <laughs> keep going till we hit zero? We need one more damage to get this to half. Just to just well ow. Okay, so let's... Okay. 11. If I... Okay, we have those coming up. If I weaken this one, it doesn't do as much damage, right? I can't kill this one because it has 7. I can't count on this one hitting this one. So do I strike, hologram, strike, and then these are enough to block that one? Okay. That should just give us back the energy. It did. Lovely. And we just get rid of the slime. Okay. So these are only two. If we had bought that focused relic, it would be three, three, four instead. Eight damage coming in. Nah. That worried about that. Three, three is six, so that should kill it before it splits. All right? Yes. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. Well, it's basically the same as Apotheosis, just with the hand. Ooh. At the start of your turn, draw one additional card. Extra card draw is really nice. It gives us, it lets us cycle through our deck faster. Amplify doubles the next power. We don't have any powers, do we? We have the buffer. That's it. Eh. Seek will allow us to find a card and put it in our hand from the draw pile. Uh, that is... Nice. It lets us find a particular card that we want to play, but that still requires us to have actually drawn Seek on the round that we want the other card. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. It's, it's a bit of deck manipulation. <sighs> Pun pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Jesus. Gain one energy at the start of your turn, but you can no longer gain gold. Uh, I think we still want to check out shops. Elites drop an additional relic when defeated. That means they drop two relics every single time. However, we can't see the path yet. Uh, that would that would require us to actually kill elites, which I am not that comfort. We don't want to lose our gold. I don't think we're ready to kill elites just now, so do we accept a curse? Use some of our gold that we can still get 
to remove it and then get three free relics. I mean, they could be amazing. Let's look at some more relics. I like that. Bring bong. Okay, it doesn't do anything bad. It's just another card in the deck to for us to draw. It also means that it's both good, good and bad. It's it's bad because we can't do anything with it. It's good because of aggregate. It's another card that plays off of aggregate. I confirm, and we got a potion bill. If I pick up, gain two potion slots. Okay, that means we can now carry five potions. Mercury Alchemist at the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies at the start of my turn, not just combat. So every single turn, enemies just take three damage. Worth it! Upon pick up gain three of gold. I like it. I'm very happy with this choice. Okay, so we want to hit a shop. We got one there, we got one up there. Alrighty. We also got one there. Do we feel confident? Okay, how about this? We hit the first shop, see if there's anything interesting. We get to this point here. We then make a choice. If we had great stuff here, we don't go to this one. We can get through here and try and go. If we're comfortable that we've gotten some nice stuff, we can then take on... If we're low on health, we pick it up here, fight the elite. If we're good on health, we'll fight the elite and then possibly heal after. And then hit this shop here. And then the rest of the way, we will decide if we want to go for another chance at an elite. Yeah, I think we turn this way. We have one, two fires. We got two here as well if we fight the burning elite, which we're not sure. Mm, we have a couple of events that we could take here and make a choice about the elite once we get there. I think that's our path. Let's lock it in. Thievery. Okay, so... This might be interesting because we have... <laughs> this is one of the rare circumstances where we can actually play Meteor. Uh, but at the cost of health, I think it will be. Um, we are on our way to a shop, so we're not interested in these guys running away with our loot. If we upgrade all the cards here, they will do more damage. I can seek and find aggregate that will give us five more energy, minus one, so four more energy, so we'll be at seven, which would allow us to play Apotheosis, because we can get, if I upgrade with the potion, we can get two cards. So we could get aggregate, we can play Meteor Strike, the others wouldn't be that. We would need defense because we don't want to. Or just get apotheosis out of the way. Is that what we? Is that what we're trying to do here? So we're upgrading these. We're seeking the aggregate. Or that's too much of a cost. Or do we do this? Aggregate into hologram. Pick aggregate again, play it again. And then get the buffer down. And then lose hologram. I think we do that. So aggregate into hologram into aggregate. We get these down. We get the meteor strike. We can kill this guy. Oh, we got. Oh, yeah, because it. Mm, okay. We can kill that one, play the buffer. We can't play the buffer. Okay, so we play the buffer. Doesn't matter, because if we kill him, we don't need the buffer, because 13 is more than the 10 that he is dealing. We can also do the 20 damage to this guy, so that they're both easier to kill next round, 
I think we do that. But then we take then we take damage. But we're guaranteed that they both die. Do we think we can kill this guy faster? We have a lot of energy coming, so let's let's try. Because anytime we change any of these orbs, we get the energy that's that's in them. And they also give us a shit ton of energy. Alright, okay, so if I that's ten, that's these two. Okay, so I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. And then we need He's gonna. Is he gonna attack or is he gonna try? He's gonna try and run away now. Okay. So that's 12. 13, 14, 15. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we didn't lose any gold. They otherwise could have stolen 30. There we go with an upgraded hologram. That gives us more options to go in and pick a card that we had before that we already played this one deals damage and allows us to put the next card that we play back in the draw pile fusion channels plasma which if we can get aggregate going fairly smoothly we don't need because the meteor thing will give us more than enough although it is nice to have access to this. What was the other thing that we had in the deck that had to do with energy? Did we have anything else? We had the meter, we had the aggregate, medium, okay. Um, yeah, it's still very inconsistent with this one. Uh, we kind of need to get lucky on our first go. Let's see. All right. Now, this is nice. Okay. Uh, Random more like that because that can be anything. It can be dog orbs, can be frost, can be energy, can be lightning. Um, a little bit expensive though. The loop. I do like powers, and the loop gives us. Um, it, it, at the start of your turn, it triggers the passive ability of your next orb. So whatever the front orb is, will trigger. So if we have frost there, it'll trigger defense. If we have lightning, it'll just do damage. When this is upgraded, it'll do it twice. I believe when this one is upgraded, it does two orbs. Two orbs for the cost of of one energy is really really nice it also allows us to cycle through orbs problem with our orbs right now is that they're kind of not that powerful so and we don't have access to more than three of them so without more orb generation without more focus the orbs are not really that powerful right now barrage is nice if you have a lot of orbs which we don't Claw is a very nice card because it keeps building up its damage. The more you play it, the more and every claw in your deck, if you have five of them or three of them or two of them, whatever, every time you play one of them, the others grow. Uh, but we only have one if we buy this, so there's no synergy there. We... would be nice if we went elite hunting our path does take us up to where we can make a choice here oh there or there either or we do have another shop up here so we don't have to spend too much of our gold this one at the start of each combat channel a dark so it works the same way as our lightning we just also get a dark there's a lot of gold to spend if we're looking to go into another shop. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six blood. We're trying to build a larger draw pile because of aggregate. So we don't want that. Also, the six block that we get is kind of meh. 
card draw is nice to get. I just don't like that it exhausts. Um, we could also spend a hundred gold getting rid of this one, but since there is no negative effect to it other than it being there, and again, it is another card. Right now it's 21 cards that we have. Aggregate is for every three, which is seven then, if that makes sense. Uh, then removing this would bring us down to 20. However, if we did buy another card, I'm leaning towards this one. And because once it's upgraded, it gives us two orbs every time. It might be random, but it's it allows us to cycle through the orbs more effectively. Let's see, what's, so if we buy this one and loop, We'll still have enough for the next. I think we do this and then we save the rest of the money. How far away is the shop? One, two, three. Three fights and an elite. It's not a lot of gold. We'll keep. We'll we'll keep the curse for now, just for shits and giggles. And um, proceed. Oh. I know that, yeah, sorry, uh, Angel, I know my cam is, uh, it's, it's, for some reason, it's this game. Uh, I don't know why it does it, so I just chose a weird look and uh, froze it there. I will try and fix it for next time. But not, not sure, not sure. Okay, so we can do this. Uh, I'll get this out of the way. So, dash, this, and we do this, and we can play this one. Look at the chat, god damn it, babe. That's right, yeah, that makes me look bad. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, also, trying to read this stuff. Okay, so. Okay, it's doing 18. This would be 10, 16 with the orbs. We can throw this one in, we can... Let's see, can we do it? And get the loop in there also, we can, right? We can do, we can do this. Uh, I'll dual cast this for extra damage. We'll loop it. We got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's enough, I don't have to play this one yet. I could, but I don't want to because it's reduced by one every time you use it. So I might as well keep it at maximum until it is needed. Uh, I actually don't know how you do that. I think it's if you press down on your channel points, maybe, or is there something else on the screen where you use bits? Here you go. Do you have time to explain it? All right. Okay. So if we do. We need to play this anyway, right? So we got four. We can use hologram to get. That's eight. This will give us enough. We can get this one played, so it's it costs less. We do we want to play that? I mean, we can use the seek to get two cards, but we don't only have one energy, which means there are no zero cost cards here. No, I think we just uh, move on. Okay, 10, it's eight. Let's get some more defense. There you go, perfect, perfect. Do this, do this, slowly but surely. Alright, we need some, um, need some better damage. 18. This is definitely better damage. However, hologram does nothing because there's nothing here. If we use 3 to do 32 damage, it's close to dead. We can then play one of these, which is eight. It's only 16, right? So we still take two damage. 
Do we mind? We're gonna go to a shop soon anyway, and the shop will well that's after the elite actually. I guess we can just play this one as well, right? So we'll do this. Bonk. We'll do this, we'll do this, and we block everything. Just fine. There's is a box with salads. Okay, here we go. What am I seeking for? This one? I believe I am. Or do we do aggregate in medium? Would it actually give us? It would give us three, so it would give us two, so we'd end on six, so we can do this. <laughs> just through shits and giggles, but we would also like to. I think we just do this, right? So we do that. Oh, we only ended up. Oh, that was good. Because we drew, we drew two of them. If we only drew one, it would be nine, and we would get that extra. So, ah, uh, good thing I didn't do that, because then we would just sit here looking like idiots. Alright. You. And you. Okay. Power potion. A random power. Raj, recursion, hologram. Okay, so none of these are amazing. We need one more card to make this 24 for aggregate. It is nice being able to jump in and pick out certain cards and it does give us a little bit of luck. Do we grab that or do we grab these to cycle through orbs? We kind of agree that the orbs were not that powerful. This becomes 6 damage when upgraded with Apotheosis. We got 3 orbs. That's 18 damage. Um, let's take a recursion. No coffee? Are you? Well, it's a good thing my look, look, look at the picture. See, I'm not drinking coffee. I'm your partner. Oh. There's no way to know if I'm drinking coffee, you know. Seeking meteor. And oh, fuck it. Okay, yeah, that was the wrong play. That was a very wrong play. I forgot that uh, when it's not upgraded, I only get one. So that was interesting. Uh, completely pointless. What's cheat? I'm, I'm not cheating. I, uh... <laughs> oh, this is bad. Okay. Uh, what do I have here that would be... Remotely. Do I hologram into more frost just to just to get through this one? Would it be enough to go with recursion? That would be five. That's ten block. That's this one done. Plus six. That's still not that one. I would get sap in. I would get this. If I do hologram and I do this, I block everything, but I don't get to attack or do anything. Just wait for next round. Just waiting for one round, one more round to be killed off slowly. I guess that's what we're doing. We are kind of just waiting for the um, apotheosis. Actually, I should have, I should have uh, used seek on that. Sunder, 24, 24. Oh, look at that. Funk. And all the energy back. It's hitting me for 20. What a bastard. Seven. Ten. Not enough. We're trying. And we will lose this one if we do it. And we can't play loot. So these are... Oh my god, these are so weak. The bastard is broken by block. I, I guess our best option is to, do, is to do this. That's what we get the most. And that's enough. Okay, good. Good, good, good. One, two, three, four, five. Five times! That's ten minutes, man. Alright. Fine. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, I want to get... The, oh, I don't know. This is a lot of block. So... There's 
Not enough. Now it is. So this one alternates between 10 and 20 every time, or what? Seems like it. Well, hello, aggregate. Thank you. Where's my meteor when I need it? Okay. Uh, uh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Ah, that hurt. There's my meteor, and now I don't have the energy. Okay, so I can do this, this, this. Die! Well, not die, but close. And then its block comes back up, but we have a billion energy next round. Or close. Alright, well that's a lot better than... So 20 again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I'm... Oh, do I use this and hope for anything that can... Like a buffer? 20 damage is a lot. I mean, I only blocked 6 of it. That's 14 damage. It's a lot. It's a lot of damage. And I don't even get to kill it. Alright. Defrag is nice if... Uh, I need to get some frost in there then. Fine. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that's fine. Loop it. Defend. Strike. Alright. Well, let me have it. Ah. Well, that's a lot of energy. So, uh, definitely doing this and then just. Hey, baby. That's one of mine. Alright. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. I like that one. And then this. Okay. I think that we're gonna just jump head on into uh, an elite fight just for shits and giggles. We'll get these. Oh, we'll get this, this, and uh, we'll block that. That's fine. I want to get this one down as fast as possible because it has ritual, which means that at the end of its turn it gains three strength. So it just becomes more and more and more powerful. Okay, nothing to hologram, really. Uh, I'll get enough of this. This is, okay, that's fine. So I'll recur this one. I'll defend with this one. I don't need to do anything else. I can't do anything else. I can use hol oh, I can. I can use hologram to get the strike, and then just do some damage. Okay. So far, so good. Two cards, I'm only getting two more energy out of it. Got three. I dual cast this for more. I want to use the buffer, it doesn't really. It's the next two attacks, which that alone would actually just block this. Do I. 32. That would actually. Okay. Now, okay, I'm gonna use this one to kill the first one then we'll get all the energy back and it was hitting for 10 right did i have any block do i have block down here i don't if i get this one that's enough block this one is enough block as well question is if in if it's enough if i do this one i got two there two two four six uh, and I don't think I have any block. I guess it's that one then. 
Or I could do the buffer, actually. Yeah, that might be better. So I do this, kill, get the enemy back. I could also dual cast this one. Ah, uh, that's right. And I had four block already. All right, okay. Decisions, decisions. I'll do this then. I'll get the... Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't like it, apparently, when I... Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle a dazed into your draw pile. No, right, then. Um, if I dual cast, it goes, that's 18, sorry, uh, 16. Um, if I don't, it's six of a round. I'll just get this one in. I know, I get a dazed, it's fine. All these dazed cards will help my aggregate. Ow. Okay. There you go. Uh huh. Two. Okay. Fourteen. So I do want to play this. Uh, I'll do this. And no, no, two. So the good thing about having a frost orb here is that these passive two will be played twice in the beginning from the loop right now he's not doing anything so let's do this uh we can hologram how much health does he have left 48 we can hologram sunder for shits and giggles let's do that no we can't because that okay where is my uh where's that attack is that still haven't been drawn yet Apparently not. Okay. Um, normal strike then, I guess. Or do we do more chaos orbs? We like the orbs. Right now we have frost, frost, and this one. We just do strike, just to do damage. All right. Okay. Then whenever we get this one, we should be very close. Nice. So six, <laughs> only 15 now because of that broken thing. So 16. Oh, that's 13. Fuck it, we'll do another round. It's fine. So three and three is six from that one. That's 18 left. That kills it. Fine, okay. Bias cognition. That was exactly what I was talking about when we did not take that thing that gave us artifact. Uh, this is an option for us to get the meteor thing into play a little bit, uh, a little more often. This here is really good for us if we... Um, we can find artifact, or if we can kind of like do the the last bit of combat, we can just boost it up for a bit. Uh, but in order for us to play it consistently uh, or gain the four focus without losing the one focus, we kind of need a way for us to remove debuffs from ourselves. So, orange pellets at the shop, or a or potions that gives us artifact, or a relic. I believe there's a relic that starts you off with. An artifact as well so rest fight shop is that what we're doing I believe it is cuz uh, yeah. okay let's go let's see what we get oh, shit. well the good thing about this is that there are three of them so I get three orbs. Ooh, what was that? What the hell was that? Thank you, Higa, for cheering and using bitties. That is as much as I can block for this round, which is not enough. Yo, may also have been slightly uh, over enthusiastic going into an elite fight without any potions whatsoever. Now I do have. This aggregate glacier 
I'm going to take you as far down as possible. But no clip. So that's more than enough to block all of it. Okay. So I get some block. He's gonna die. I have to kill him. In order to, uh, well, I can't do much else. Then, if I loop this, I get more block the next round. So these 22 damage is gonna be mitigated by nine. So okay, I still take a little damage. Oh, sorry, 13. Mouth! Uh, Mouth! Do you want to get the loop in or do you want to just do damage and get them that faster down? This is only four more block, right? That doesn't. Yeah, it's not going to help me. Also, this card now costs less, so. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. What are we seeking? Do we have anything here that would be buffer? Buffer just gives us another round. Hologram, hologram. Hologram streamline. That would kill this guy, right? Hologram streamline, and then I can hologram streamline again because now it's zero cost. Yes, it is. So that's nine block plus I get five more block now because I do this, which that's fine. I have any I have recursion, but I don't have lightning on it, right? So that wouldn't matter. Okay. full rounds of not having to block anything but anyway he's dead because at the start of combat we'll do three damage from this one and this one will finish it off with that one so yeah it doesn't matter we'll just end turn okay frozen egg whenever you add a power card into your deck upgrade it good to know more frost and cod draw we don't have any cod draw right now so Yes, please, I guess. We need some powers and some... Oh yeah, we get 15 the meal ticket, right? 15 every time we enter the shop. We are offered... You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Okay. Choose an attack to start each combat with. There's not really any attacks that we're that keen on. When exhausting instead of exhausting, it has a 50% chance to not be exhausted. Whenever you play a power card, draw two cards. We don't have that many power cards. Um, I know we have a lot of defense. I was kind of hoping for um, something like focus, no, not focus, what's it called? Defrag. Or. Yeah, something to give us a little bit more oomph from the orbs, maybe a capacitor or whatever it's called, the one that gives us more orbs. More orbs? Uh, this one can give us block and give us energy on our next. So I will grab that one, I will remove, uh, I think one of the normal blocks, because they are insanely boring. And we do have are very defensive. I could also upgrade. No, sorry, not upgrade. I'm removing. Please remember what you're doing. I'll remove that one. Okay, 
300 left. Do we have any? That's a bit of block. That's a random power. That could be fun. We don't have another shop coming. Nope. Not even if we go that way. Okay. So we're going for these events. And then we will pick whether we want to fight another elite or we go for an event or whatever. We'll have the choice of whatever we like when we get there. Okay. So do we take this just because of, how many powers do we have? We have one right two okay three I don't know it's not worth it we don't have that much. if we get yeah I'll save the money I'll save the money okay we go this way we get shovel, you know, dig for relics. Fuck yeah! So that means we now want to go to the. Uh, okay. So, with seek, we can find one of them. That doesn't cost anything, that only costs two. Fen. So we're looking for. 12 so this is two orbs that's four that's uh, that's nine that's not enough uh, is there a particular one we'd like to find I mean if we use aggregate that doesn't matter apotheosis that was the one we wanted to find okay seek apotheosis just get it out there uh, I will do buffer just so that this hit will be absorbed and we will still have one of them left. All right. And I believe I can drink coffee again. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, da, 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 da. we have that and that. Okay, let's coat back this one. Uh, Program. That was the wrong one. I wanted to cold snap. I don't know why my brain clicked on that one. Yeah, anyway, just six damage difference. Okay, we want to play. We play all of it. We can't. Okay, so that's six, ten, sixteen. Okay, done. That one's fine. Now, do we want to get the? I want to get the streamline going, right? Because that's that's one of the things that, and we don't mind. We're not using it because we have a lot of holograms, so we can just get it back. I'm assuming. You little fucker. Okay. So, Murray. So if I dual cast this one, that's ten. But then this one's gone. We can use this. It's because I was thinking that I kind of want to get loop in and get it started. Or even get streamline going with more damage. If I do that and streamline, that's two of them, then play this one. Right? So, never mind loop for now. We just do this. We do this. Way more than enough. Okay. wonder if there's uh, a way that I could keep the excess block. That would be really nice because sometimes we just do way too much of it. Very nice to get aggregate on uh, one left, but however, we can play this, which will draw two cards, forcing the discard pile to go back, fill this one up. Then we play aggregate, we get a billion of this, and we can now play Meteor Strike. Uh, we can also play Sunder, kill him, get all of the energy back, uh, then play Meteor, which will channel three plasma, making all these. Uh, evoke, which means 15 block, which takes care of that. We'll do a shit ton of damage. We have enough block. We'll do nine more. And yeah. I assume. Oh, that's a lot of messages. One moment. Uh, yeah, just. Oh, 
so that card that I just added to it, uh, let's see, adds a random power into your hand. 21. Yeah, bastard. Okay, well, I guess we get this going. And we just eat some damage, because uh, no options. Thank you. I mean, with all the block and defense that we have, it is quite amazing that we manage to... I really want to get Apotheosis. Can we draw it with this one? We could not. Okay. I'll hologram the streamline because uh, damage. I'll get in the. Uh, do I get in the loop now? Nope. We get another. We use this to get this. Another bit of damage. Okay. So far, so good. What are you doing to us? Oh, fuck. Okay. 25% less. There's my apotheosis. Right into chill. Which is not gonna block all of it, but fuck it. Alright, here we go. Or it might. No, it won't. Fuck! Oh, I can. Now it will. Okay. So we will defend all this. It's not a problem. Look at this. We will do this. We will do that. We'll do that. We'll just play all of it. It doesn't matter. It's going to be dead in the next couple of rounds anyway. So that's a perfect block. we get to find a defrag, which increases the power, which at this point is uh, not that important. Darkness. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, let's get some more for generation. I'm not comfortable going up here. I want to go here, 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 maybe. Let's see what happens here. If we have one of those, there are we can remove and upgrade all strikes and defense. Strikes and defense is, um, I mean, we'll upgrade five cards, but they get upgraded with this one anyway. And right now we don't mind removing card. First of all, it's uh, that divided by three for aggregate. Doesn't matter here because that will be twenty-eight. So we can we can remove one without problem. Uh, and again, the fewer cards we have, the faster we cycle through them. Uh, I do. I think I do want to try and find an upgrade for Seek, so that if we draw this before any of the other ones, we can pick two cards. Uh, aggregate and Meteor, or Aggregate and Apotheosis, or whatever. Okay, so do we remove... I think we remove... A strike. Okay. What else do we have? Okay. Gain gold. Lose health. Good face, bad face. What the fuck is this? 50 50. That is never in my favor. Don't want to lose. How far are we? Well, mm, okay, so the last here we're gonna rest, right? So we might as well take the gold to use in the shop in the next. Uh... So yeah, yes, no, yes. I am a little bit curious what this is. Good face, bad face. I'm tempted to press it just to show you that uh, I will get bad face. Thank you very much. I have been sitting very still for very long. All right, Casper, do you think I'm going to get good face or bad face? 50-50. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Bad face. Yeah, I think I get, I'll get bad face too. Of course, yeah. So do we press it? Or do we just take 75 gold and bring with us to the next shop? Of course we press it. Or what? What do you want? Do you want, do you want to press it? Do you want to press it? Do you want to get gold? Press it? Fuck. Bad face. Oh, of course. Yep. Of course, it's always, always fucking bad. Right? Okay, uh, that's 12. Can do this. Can do this. That's 11. Do I try and get. Oh my god, we're in. Oh, because of the bad face! Because of the bad face! I only do. Oh! Well, fuck that shit. Um, then I'll do this and I'll do that then, cause that's... Wow. Well... The RNG in my life works as, uh, as usual. I'll do this. I'll do this. Of course it hit that one. I'll do this. Alrighty then. And uh, here we go. We do have um, this one. We'll get all our energy back. So that's 18. Ow! Uh, we'll do this. We'll dual cast that one for a bit of blockage. And uh, take a massive hit to the face. Well, four damage. But we're resting, right? We're resting anyway, so. Nice nab after this shit. Okay, heat team, whatever you play, power draw a card, that's fine. Zap. We'll defend. What do we want a hologram? That still costs too much. All these cards. Do I want to do the charge battery? Yep, I do. Because that gives us more energy next round. That's more than enough. So. Alrighty then. Thank you. Do we get the Seek now? Now on the last cards, we get, yeah, the Seek. So I can look for one of these three cards. Aggregate, that will do nothing for us. Anyway, actually we can do this. Okay, and we'll do Darkness. We'll do this. We'll do go. And then... Just need to cycle through this one, and it should more or less kill it, because it goes up by... Right? No? Yes? That's a lot of energy. Dark Wolf. There you go. Uh, meteor and dead. Okay. That's another power. Whenever you receive unblocked attack damage, channel to lightning. That's a lot of lovely lightning. Since we do have both energy, lightning, frost, and dark orbs, we may consider this for card draw and a bit of damage. Uh, we can also just auto channel lightning. Problem is right now that our our orbs are not that fearsome right now. That they're not dangerous. I think it would be better for us just to be able to deal some damage. Or we can skip because uh, there's a bit of card drawing that we don't have any. Don't have a lot of control. We can also dig for a relic. Do we? What? Okay. What? What? What possibly fight? We're fighting. Oh fucking no! <laughs> I think that's the knight or something. I think he hits harder and harder and harder and whatever. Um, do we? Are we greedy and are we going for a random relic? Or do we rest up, get our health back, and? Uh, we have, we have a bit of damage, we've got some strength, doesn't matter, this is the only interesting thing. Rest would give us another 22 health, putting us at 70. Greed! So we dig? That's what you're saying? <laughs> Alright, I'm down for that. 
Let's see what we found. A whetstone upon pickup. Upgrade two random attacks. Now, we have... This would be bad, because it's kind of shit, right? This would be good. This would be good. Actually, we don't play this that often, so this would be good. This would be good. This would be good. This would be all right. So one, two, three, four, five out of six possible. All right? Watch me get the strike. Yes! Okay. I actually got the two that I wanted to. That's fine. That's fine. Well, here we go. Let's go die because we uh, don't have enough health. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this power. Drink. Uh, I'm going to take the loop. I'm not going to play it yet because I want to upgrade it with Apotheosis. I will, however, do this. I will play this because... Billion energy. I'll play this, get even more energy. I'll play this, get even more energy. I don't know why, because I could save the energy for the next round. Which, but I'll still get this, that's fine. Actually, I should not have played those. I should just have kept the energy so that I had that much more to use in the next round. But hey, we're all learning. Okay, I'll play, I'll drink this because we don't really need it for anything else. I'm not getting anything out of drinking the potions and it's the last. I could save them for another fight, but strength is not really anything we're totally crazy about going for I'll do recurring so that we still have that next round even though we play I didn't do much all right we defend then 10 12 that's enough we're not gonna play that loop either we're looking for seek or apotheosis all righty cool take care I'm gonna seek for apotheosis and like this. Everything is upgraded. 24. That's horrible. That's a bit of blockage there. We got this one. Where do we get the most block from? Dual casting. Those two will give us 10. Do we. Aggregate doesn't even matter because that's not gonna give us. So this will give us 6. This will give us 10. But this is 6 plus 2, so that's 8. So we still get 2 more. If we do this, we get 5. That's, that one is... Then circle through, we get more energy. It doesn't matter because we can't play anything. We're also going to have only 1 energy. I think we take a lot of damage here. 24. So we're at 9. 13. Plus 10, no 13, because that one's going to be used soon. 11 plus 10, 20. It's going to be close to max. Yeah, fuck, let's do it. Just, uh, yeah, 21. It's just three short. But we don't really have a lot of health to um, play around with because someone wanted to. Uh, I want to. I I know he's not attacking, but I want to get the energy for next round. I want to fill this one, and then I want to play the buffer. Uh, I don't want to play this yet because I don't want to lose the one focus per round. We are far off being able to kill him because we don't really have that much damage, and we don't have a way to scale our. Unless this one gives us what we need here we go no whenever you play a power chord channel okay cod draw cool headed will bring us into that will give us a bit of energy as well hologram can get us back aggregate which would do nothing for us uh there is it could get this one which could maybe, no 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 it's not it's not a thing Guess we're gonna have to cycle through this. Uh, okay. I guess if we do cool headed, that forces the draw pile back into that one. Aggregate then for extra. We then hologram the cool headed for more card draw. 
we get chaos. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through some of this. Okay, we wanna do a dark hole, and we wanna try and get that to continue. We have enough of this. We can hologram another cool headed. But then we don't have the energy next round. I think I'll save it and just do this. Yes. We also want to give this time to grow. Now we can play our loop. Uh, okay, so if we cold snap, get energy, draw cards. I want to draw cards first because we have three different ones. Then we cold snap for the extra energy. We then have coal, which we dual cast to get a bit of block. We then get our loop down. Defend is not really doing much for us, but we don't really have a choice. We still have enough to get this one. And we're just one short. That's fine. Don't forget your coffee. I'm still not comfortable playing this. I don't believe that we will get him down fast enough before we would actually lose all focus and just slowly crumble and die. I'll get this one in. Uh, I'll do this just to get a bit of block in. It is sad, however. It's all we can do. Five damage. We definitely need more orb slots or some kind of way to gain focus. Currently, we do not have that. Okay, more energy for next round. I want to get this one in. I want to play these just to get them cycled through. If there's anyone sitting in chat that knows much better about this game than me, uh, feel free to drop a few hints. He's not really doing anything right now, right? So we're just... Well, he's... Getting angry, I guess? Oh shit. What are you gonna do? Ah, uh, what the f... That's... 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 That's horrible. That's horrible! What the f... What the... What the f... Okay, so... Oh shit. Um, that's a bit scary. What's the absolute most block we can get? We have six from that one, five from that, so 11. If we draw this one, we get 10 plus another two orbs. So that's five, that's 19. We're nowhere near defending this shit. Do we have the buffer still? We do not. Did we play it? We played it. Really? Did we? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. All right. Well, I guess the play here is uh, do this, do that, and do this, and cry a little bit. We're just not doing enough damage here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, aggregate will give us one, so that doesn't matter. We can do this for card draw. That's one. Oh shit. Problem is, if I if I hologram uh, this one in order to do the last card draw and then shuffle them back to use aggregate, the problem is that this cost one, the other one cost one, and we've been and then we would have used two. So we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Is there a... I could do another set. This will give us a bit of defense. So eight, eight defense if we keep that one for now. I don't want to do so, I don't want to do so, I don't, yeah, I don't want to use it. Fuck. Okay. Well, this is not going well. 
36. Just 36. I think it's now or never, and we either get something done about it, or we, uh... Yeah. Oh, man, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad. We do that, just a bit of damage. Sap. What do we want a hologram recursion? And then play the defense? It's not gonna give us alright, well, yeah, sure. Do this. Recursion, do this, that's uh it's not that bad. Five damage, five more. Slowly but surely, you know. Being whittled down. This 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 should be alright though, because it, it is falling, however. Okay, uh, cool headed. Let's 18, motherfucker. Okay. Well, we kind of need aggregate. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so. Alright, so this can do 12 plus 11, 23, 34. Okay, 34. Oh, it's not gonna be enough, is it? It's not. It's 11. It's 11. Fuck it. 37, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, 18, 36. You know what? It's doing 36 damage, right? We got 32 health, but we have these two. So if we just hit him like a truck now, this block we go down very low on health and next round hopefully we get something that can kill him which means we need this or this no wait this is also doing seven right so, okay he's dead okay, never mind yeah my brain farted here we go done shit i forget the orbs every single time i forget that they're there and they're just doing their passive thing at the end of the round Herker, another meteor strike for no reason. Uh, innate, at the start of your turn, draw one additional card. Extra card draw is very nice. It... What do we get? The coffee dripper gains one energy at the start of your turn, but you can no longer rest at rest sites. I don't think we have the self sustain for that. Uh, upon pickup, transform three cards, then upgrade them. We could do that with our last strike and normal defense. Uh, just to see what they turn into. Uh, double the effect of potions. We don't really have that many potions. And we're not really getting that many potions. So I think, I think I'm going to go with this one. And just... I like the randomness. I like to see what is going to happen. So do we do all three blocks? Or do we do... I think we do the strike. So we do these three, right? We gotta seek darkness and thunder. Better cards, you know, all over, but uh, I had kind of hopes for some powers. Maybe we will find power in, uh, in the next shop. We do have a bit of gold. We're not massively rich, but we are also not. Okay, now I do see the shop there. I think this is the path that we're gonna go grab this shop. Then I think we're gonna cower around this elite, probably, depending on what we get, you know, along the way. If we get some of those powers, uh, some more focus, anything like that, and then depending on what we get here, we will either go for this route to get either another upgrade, or if we need more health, uh, and then fight this elite, or we will go for this one. We don't really have a choice. We are gonna fight an elite at this path right here, so. Depending on if we don't find anything interesting, we're gonna go this way and try this shop. Uh, that's our path. Fuck it, let's do it. Do we want more events along the way? Do we want two events or one? Let's see some of these events. I don't know what they are, so the more I see, the more I'll, I'll figure out, right? I mean, it's gotta make sense. So that's uh, six defense, that's not quite enough. Uh, I could do a darkness. I do want to get this one down, so I got three left, right? 
Recursion will give us enough and will give us more block. Darkness will still give us enough block and also have a darkness there. So I think we're gonna go this, this, and this. We'll play this first in case it gets- <gasps> That's exactly the card I want! This is the card I wanna get! I want this card so bad! I wanna find this at a shop or hopefully at the end of a fight. I don't know why this is my favorite card in the game. For this particular um, class. All right, and then we wanted to do this one. So we get enough block, right? That's nine. And we have this. Yeah. So now, because we have the uh, creative AI, we're gonna get powers every single turn. We just get a random power, like this one, for example. Uh, oh, good, we can just take this one out so we don't have to worry about it exploding. Um. Seek, are we going for aggregate apotheosis? I think we are. Apotheosis. Aggregate. I could also take the other seek and then just grab so I could get three cards, essentially, but uh, unnecessary. Okay, do this. Do these. Okay. I'll play this one because this fight shouldn't take that long. Uh, let's pick up the... We can't do that. We'll pick up the darkness. Do this. And, uh, done. Still very much learning as I'm going along. Uh, some of it makes sense. Other stuff, I'm sure I'm making mistakes here and there. Uh, making plays that could have been done better. Uh, they have thorns, so we do need defend before we do anything. Uh, let's see, if I do focus, they all go up. If I do the darkness, this one is boosted and the next one, and they move forward. Uh, okay, eight block is enough to, I'll play this one. And then, I, I do have 10 block already. Okay, oh yeah, because I did this and then I got that one. Okay, so I can actually do a bit of damage to, I'll do this one. Okay. And then I do a couple cards that I can't do anything with. But the moment that these cycle through, these are both dead, right? Because... Okay, so we do this to have enough we do this to cycle through another one will that be enough okay we dual cast and kill both all right hello world at the start of your turn add a random common card into your hand i don't know which cards are common and which are not so i don't know if this is uh, good or bad See, let's do an event. Let's see what happens. You come upon a dapple looking cheery gremlin. It's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. And what do we do? We just randomly roll between what the fuck? Is this gonna take one of my cards? And this is what doing damage and gold, a relic, heal me, maybe? The fuck is this? Oh, here we go. Health. So, I got nothing. A free heal for me. Heal to full health. Oh, wait, I'm already full. Jeez, thank you. Well, at least they didn't, like, steal something from me. I guess that's better. A shop! Ooh. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is my favorite uh, relic in this game, and I never get it. Guess what? We just got it. Um, it is a little bit pricey, but I do like it. I do like it. It's um, it allows us to conserve energy between turns so that if we don't use all of the energy, we then have that much more energy next time, which goes very well 
in hand with our meteor um, to actually get that into play. And then that all that extra energy is then multiplied up and yeah, it, it goes crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, because I don't really like any of these other choices. This could be fun, you know, with this one, if you could build up a crazy amount of energy and then you just, yeah, definitely taking that one. It's so rare that I see it. And we'll keep the 116 for the other shop up here, just to see. <laughs> We're gonna get in there and then there's gonna be one of the, the, the the card that I really want and, it, and we're gonna be like three gold short okay so this is our only defense that we got this round well fuck you game capacitor oh this is this is another card that I would love we only get this one we want to check out what this is and we want to draw more cards okay we are just gonna take eight damage because we can and because apparently we have to. Okay. But the others definitely have to be played. We are a little bit on the low side of defense, so we'll get these in because they, they can be played for free. We will get this one done. Nice, free, okay. So we're what, only taking six damage this this round so far. Do we get Lupin? We do, it's upgraded already. We could have done this and gotten another five block actually. We could have done that, yeah, that's right. And then just and gotten another sap back. <sighs> okay, we'll do it this way instead. Oh, okay, yep, I could have taken five less damage. That was my bad. So, turbo here is good. I guess we got the turbo from the hello. Because we don't have that in our pile normally. Okay, I need more of this. Do we throw in our chaos? Or do we want to make sure that we hit no action? Or is there something that we want to get back from? We can only do recursion or zap. Recursion and zap, they, they both do the same thing. Well, the recursion brings another frost back here. Zap would evoke this and bring another lightning. Let's do this and get two orbs for the same price as one. Now let's do this just so that we get more energy that we can use the ice cream to move to the next round. So that we will start with five on the next round. Hopefully six. Why did we start with six? Oh, because I played the defense with the extra energy. Okay. Um, aggregate will give us two at the cost of one, so we'll only get one more, so unnecessary. This is more card draw. This is increased focus, but we don't have a way to get rid of the debuff. Uh, what are we looking for here? We can play Seek and get the Meteors in right now for all that sweet energy. We can weaken it so it doesn't hit us hard. If we play... Okay, let me think. Because if we get the mirror, we're using five out of six, which means we only have one left. But if we play aggregate and get one more energy, we can then play buffer, which will then take this, absorb this damage. I can get another one, okay. Dual cast. Do we want to try and do that, or do we get, because it has to be, we don't need see, we don't need this, so tool cast is the only free one. Okay, so we're doing this. It's almost fucking Look dead. at the chat, oh, god it damn it. 
Hey, old fart, your cam is frozen. I know, everyone tells me, I know. Uh, it's something that I need to fix later. Uh, it happens in Slay the Spire. There's nothing I can do. Uh, well, there is, but I don't know why it's happening. It's, um, if I tap out of it, out of the game, the camera goes back to working, and the moment I go into the game, it just freezes. Casper did send something on, something about setting up a new camera in OBS. Uh, it's something that I would have to sit and read, but you know me. That, like, just saying, set up a new camera in OBS does not mean that I instinctively know what to do, so. Uh, let's see. Now we are at a point where stack would make sense. So I'm gonna take that. We're still gonna go this way. Uh, get some to eat. Uh, will you be up for some vermitide in a bit? Uh... Yeah, I think so. I think the idea is that we want to try and... I think uh, Winter's Angel is... I don't know if she's playing right now. Uh, but I think she'd be up for playing some Burmatite. I sure would be. Okay, I want to find... Apotheosis and... What else? Apotheosis and... Seek. That's not up. Oh, that will be upgraded. And then I can get aggregate and. Okay. So, upgraded. Seek. Aggregate. Meteor strike. Aggregate. Meteor strike. Power. Bias cognition. I should have played that before the. No, I would still end up. Okay. I don't want to do that right now, because uh, yeah, I can play this, I can play this, and then move to next turn. We have all this beautiful energy. Okay. We are going for... We're getting the loop in, we're playing the buffer. 25, we're not going to be able to block that, so we'll just absorb it with one of the buffers. So what we will do instead, we'll get this one played so that its damage is less. We'll play one of these so we get the energy. We will do this one and get... We, do we don't need aggregate, right? Because we'll do darkness again, or we'll do streamline, although that is weakened. It will become a zero cost card if we play it again. Okay, we do that. We keep these for next round. I play this just for, oh, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's we're gonna absorb it with this, so just waste a card. Okay. Um that's fine. So we have all the energy building up. That's fine, that's fine. Uh it's ten damage. Let's do a bit of a random two off. We'll get a lot more energy. We'll do cold, we'll do this one, we'll do darkness just to get a bit of that. So that's enough. Then, do we. How much health does it have? 200? That's not that fucking enough. Uh, actually, what I do want to do is I want to do this just because I want to build this up. Alright? So, go this. Because we have the ice cream. Uh, whatever energy we're not using is used next round. So what we will be looking for is also one of those X cards. If we can get that. Um, we can draw a few more cards here. With this, three more cards. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I think we can do this now. <laughs> Although I'm not sure. This may come back and bite us in the ass. Anyway, we'll do recursion, we'll do another sap, uh, we'll do this for energy next round, 18, I kind of want that to just linger. Uh, we don't want to use this to get the energy, well, it's basically it's the same, use an energy, get one energy next round, or conserve it for the next round, it's fine. I don't want to play Glacier because I don't want this to only do 18. So, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, this is perfect, right? Because we dual cast this for 102 damage. And then this takes care of it. We can just do this, actually. It's just fine. Okay. Alright, it's interesting. Do we want a weak? It'll just drown in this pile of cards here anyway, and it, it, the odds of having it randomly drawn the moment you need it, I don't I don't think this is... Uh, we dig. Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy. Well, it's far away, man. But okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, here comes the shop. We don't have a shit ton of money. But we, if we don't get what we want there, we'll try and go for it here. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I predicted that we we're going to be a couple of gold short. So it'll be like 150 gold for the one that we need. No? Okay. Pellets! Fuck you! Yeah! Okay. Uh, don't have to think anymore. The pellets... Orange pellets allows us to play a power attack and skill in one turn. Or not allows us, but if we do, it will remove negative debuffs. And we do have a negative debuff. So if we can play this card as the power card along with an attack and a skill in the same round, their orange pellets will remove the lose one focus per turn after that. And we will just be set with the four focus hopefully five if we manage to get off apotheosis and before that also seek will allow us to better draw those cards so that we can get it get it going i am very very happy very satisfied with this not so much that i want to fight this guy though or do i do we do it do we do it? do we do it what do we have here? We got a random color this. We got some strength. This again also can be used uh, with the orange pellets. Do we try this one and just die horribly? I mean. I mean. It would get us over playing Vermintide sooner, so. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's see what this head can do. All right, so immediately I am very happy with this because if I do this, I can now seek two powers, or oh, two cards. If I seek out this one, we've already played a skill. So if I choose this one and an attack, we will get this immediately, and uh, yeah, okay, it should work, it should work. Okay, so I'm looking for box cognition, and then an attack. Where are my attacks? Do I want this one, or do I want, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, I'm not going to have uh, any energy left, so it, it's just, just a one. Okay, so we play the skill, we play a power, we play an attack, orange pellet, and we lose the debuff but we keep our five more focus. <laughs> All right, cool. There we go. I like that. Actually, I should have I should have drunk the potion at the same time. All right. Okay, okay. This time I'm going to seek aggregate my little friend and then hologram because what I can then do is I can aggregate. I can then hologram the aggregate. And we have a lot of power. Okay. That now also allows me to, let's just see what this is. Heat sink. Whenever you play a power card, draw a power. That's fine. Uh, we want to build up our oh, so the orange pellets apparently uh, boosted again. So we'll do a bit of damage. We'll go get this one in. Play this, get a bit more power. Actually, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept the power. Anyway, it's fine. We'll move that to the next round. We got the ice cream. Uh, for anyone new in the chat, I apologize for my frozen camera. I'm very well aware. Um, I am, however, not aware of how I fix it. 
So, good times. Um, we'll do a bit of block. Get that one going. We'll get this. We don't need to play that defense. We'll bring over the extra energy for the next round. Alright, we want to... I can dual cast this for more damage. And then get this one in. I'll then draw two more cards. I'll do another darkness, which will proc these. I will then get the darkness again, because that's a lot of damage. So now I got 39 plus 28 plus 17. We just do Sunridge because we can. It's not attacking this round, so we don't have to focus on trying to defend. Now he's attacking, however. Uh, okay. Recursion creates another one. Okay. We do have. Uh, let's draw a few more cards, see what we get. Uh, hologram. But that's the cool head. Okay. Alright, we'll do this. Get the loop in just because we can. We'll then we'll draw a few more cards using this. Okay. We got three left. That's thirty. That's a lot of. Uh... Okay. That gives me 10 block if I do that. Alright, let's try and do a little bit of that. We'll give it a bit more damage. Should probably just let it simmer for a while. Do this, that should be full block. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, they do a lot of block also. I I always forget the passive. Let's try and not forget the passive. So 35, we're already on 14. So we're on 28 block already, as is. So, that's 38, right? Yeah, so that's more than enough. Okay, uh, do we, if we darkness, we, lose, we gain a lot more, but we lose it, but that one's still in that slot, so that should still be fine. We can also just do 32 damage right now or do we like darkness with but darkness is going to be two warps away right let's get hello world in there <laughs> uh draw two cards chaos it cold not right we'll, we'll, we'll cold because it gives us the same amount of uh, frottles This is every time I'm okay, sure. Uh Aggregate is not going to help us here. We only have two cards left. We can draw those two cards. But that won't reshuffle the bag. It will just be at zero. So that doesn't help us. 40. I think if we dual cast this one, it should be golden. So we're at, uh, yeah, 41. Here, key. Machine learning for extra card draw. I guess so. Uh, we'll do darkness just to get it up and running. This will draw more cards, three more cards, and we will only have one energy. No, we won't. <laughs> because, funk. Oh, look at that! Aggregate! Okay. We can dual cast this now for a bit more damage. We'll get this one in as well. Leave it there. Tickety -tock. Another forty five damage. So this forces the passive orbs to right? Okay. And if I do card draw, 
We got Sunder, so that's 32. So I just need this one to zap that one. And whoop! Okay. What does that do? Negate the next two curses you obtain. And I got an... Oh. Uh, yeah. I haven't been picking up the other keys. I've seen them here and there. <gasps> I mean... Have to take it with an ice cream, right? Okay, so I think I want to go. We have a choice to make. Do we go elite and then shop with only 34 gold? No, or do we go possible upgrade another elite? Yes, I think we do that. Okay. Uh, blue candle. Unplayable curse cards cannot be played whenever you play a curse, lose one hit point and exhausted. Which means that yes, you lose a health, but it is no longer an annoyance to you during that combat. However, I don't have any curses. And if I got any curses, they would be negated by this one. I think it's too late for us to get the last key, but fuck it, let's try. Okay, um... Oh... We have to dig, right? Of course, it's the, it's the greed! Eternal Feather. For every five cards in your deck, heal three hit points whenever you enter a rest site. So now we don't even have to rest anymore. We do have quite a lot of cards there, so that's six health currently uh, that we're gaining, right? Oh, no, sorry. 18, because it's three hit points for every five. Okay. 18 health. It's very nice. Okay. Uh, oh, this one can give us a curse, however. Well, well, well. Starts off with 10. We will block 2. I hate these beginning rounds of me just uh, getting my ass handed to me because of no block. I am not sure that we are, we have one, two, three, four more fights, I think. Thirty? Ow! The fuck? Um... Oh yeah, yeah, uh, upon receiving attack damage change, it's, it's intent. Well... Fucking change your intent, man. 15. Oh, that's much, much better. Aggregate. Thank you. Hologram. Aggregate. Thank you. I think we don't want to change its intent from that one. Right? We'll just take three. Is that what we're doing? Or are we doing this? But if we do <laughs> if we do this, he may change to something very, very different. Like much more damage. Oh you just do this. Alright. Mm. Look at the chat, god damn. I am looking at the chat. So you, last thing you said was you were going to go grab something to eat, and if I was ready for Vermitide in a bit, and yeah, as soon as I'm done with this run, I will be very ready to do Vermitide. I am, however, not yet done with this run. Does that make sense? Um, a claw. A claw! 22 damage, I think we might be able to do something about. So if we do this... Do this. We do this. We do a. Uh, that's enough. We do this, and we don't want to change its intent right now. Bias cognition. We got a power. We do not have an attack, but we can find one. 
cold snap is an attack. We can also get this in play, so let's do that. Let's see what this one has first. Defrag. So we'll play a lot of powers here actually. So power will play this. Power. We already played a skill, so when we play this attack, orange pellet gets it off. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's 21. We'll do this. We'll get a bit more um, blockage. We're gonna save the Tempest for building up a lot more. We're gonna do this one. So that's what? 34? 34? Yeah, that's more than enough. We'll get the loop in there. Hologram, is there anything? Aggregate is not gonna be, it's just gonna give us two more, so that's not gonna be worth it. There's nothing else we want. Do we wanna play the Dark Orb just to have one building up? End it and then okay. That's not a lot of them. So there's nothing here. But if I hit it with this, it will then draw all of the cards back. I can then find the aggregate, but I'm changing its intent to possibly something crap. Fifteen, okay, that's fine. Uh, no, not you. You. Aggregate. Your strike? I don't think the meteor strike is a good idea, but fuck it. Because if I do meteor strike, um, yeah, we're gonna get the plasma, which would give us a lot of uh. Fuck it. All right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna change it to? The curse. Um. Or we can... No, the curse is gonna give it... We don't want that. We don't want that. How do we... So I have to hit it again? 15. Okay. That's fine. Much better. So we'll let this boost up a bit. We got plenty of that. Okay. So what we're trying to do is get this energy up to a point where the ice cream is making it ridiculous. I mean, this is quite a few. And then what we are looking for is uh, this little baby. So right now, if I play this, I'll draw a card. It may be that one. I can also dual cast this for more energy. We do have 21 damage incoming, which is bad. But don't we have... Yeah, but that only takes two. He hits us three times. We want at least seven block. This will give us one frost orb. That's eight. That's enough. Is that what we're doing? And then we're getting the charge as well. We're gonna is that, do that so that it doesn't change its intent. Well, we can try and change it to something. It can be worse. So, fuck it. We'll do this. We'll do... That one. Okay, so we got... 15 plus 8. 23. It's more, right? It's fine. Leave it. Don't touch it. We probably could have killed it with... Uh, like much faster. I just have this idea that I really want to try and do these. Uh, like we could basically just sunder and sunder, right? And it will be dead. But I just really want to try this one. You know what? It's probably not going to happen. We'll need a shit ton of blocking, right? Do we have that much block? 
We do, we do, we do. Because... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's do this. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, it's way, way more energy than we needed. We just... We were just unlucky that it was within the last fucking four cards that we got the Tempest, okay? But look at what is going to happen now. Yeah, we didn't even need... We needed, what, like 10 energy? Fucking up. Uh, anyway, anything worth doing is worth doing, right? Another Hello World. When I say another, does that mean that we have one, or was that just a random card that we have one? Okay. And we and it's upgraded. Mm, bullseye is only if we're doing a shit ton of lightning, which we're not. This one we already have. I know they're all upgraded, which would be nice. Uh, we're at 33, which goes very well with our aggregate. Because it's anything divisible by 3. Uh, so, I think I skip. Elite fight. This is gonna be shit. Oh, fuck me. 24? Okay. Thank god. One of them down. Uh. I should have played. I, oh, god. I know. I should have played this first so I would get three orbs. I'm an idiot. I know. Fine. Alright. So. Do I just remove that one? It is an elite fight, right? Yeah, just... I don't, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, less than perfect plays here. Uh, testing out stuff. Trying some weird shit. Uh, so that... I only got that. Okay. Um... The buffer could take this. And then I just do steam with six, which would do that as well. But then I'm not doing any damage. I'm not, well, I could play this one. But then I should play that first to see if I got anything more interesting. So we do that. We did get apotheosis. But if I play apotheosis, I can't play buffer. And I have to play. I have to play the buffer because I have to take this, right? So that one goes into the forgotten, but no way I can do this. I know I should probably save all these for the actual boss fight. No. But where's the fun in that? Do we do we got everything right now. We can do weakness on that one. Just because we can. We're using the buffer to... No, actually we're not, because she's gonna remove all of the block and the buffer, and we're gonna take nine. Yeah, I forgot that. I forgot that it won't just take the buffer and then blocks for the rest. It's, yeah, the order of which things are happening. So, anything else we can do to change it? We can... We, that gives us five. Plus five, that's another ten. That's the most we can do. She still gets through, right? So, 10, 16, 17, 18, 20. Yeah, we need two more. Two more fucking blocks. If I do this, it's still five and five. This would give me seven instead of five. That's the two we need. Or is my math completely horrible? So that's 22, right? That's hers blocked. And then the buffer takes the 9. Right? I think so. Oh, God. My brain still works. I thought I was going to need more coffee. Okay. Uh, skill, skill, skill... Attack, power. Okay, so we do... Power. We do... Attack. And we do... Is aggregate in here somewhere? Yes, it is. And we do skill to pull out aggregate. And... 
we'll get this one in in the run as well. I like to play this first just to see what happens. Okay, and we get more energy. I'll get the dark orb going. Don't need to defend. Okay. Ice cream will carry over the three to the next round. We have more power permanently. That's good. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Do we have anything that we want to seek? We have a meteor that would take that one and that one and that one. So that's 20 block. That's part of the way there. We can also go these. That will basically take care of most of it, I think. Loop it and sap it. Yeah, I think we do that instead. Cycle through these. Let's see. That's that's enough, isn't it? That's 41 block, and we got 26. But yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, so you don't need. You can get the loop in just so that it's there. Uh, we can play. Well, actually, let me just take this out and reduce this card's cost by one. Um, do we have any damage? We do. We could play this one. We could not because we only have one energy. Uh, if I don't sap it, it's gonna do two times on the next. Yeah, let's do that then. Keep it at that. Huge difference with the extra two orbs. Okay. Options. Zero. How do we draw cards? We don't. We can dual cast this one. Add in that one. Let's do this for a bit of damage. Okay. Vulnerable is only, only works for uh, attacks. It would work for this one. Actually, it's probably stupid. Zero cost, we might as well. Uh, is there anything we want to get from the hologram? I'll do this to get this one up, then I'll do Sunder, or do we just, if I go in and pick, let's say, Cold Snap or Zap, we get this one up front, and it triggers two more times, that's 22 more damage, and then next round we just pop it. I mean, it sounds fun. Let's do that. Here's that. All right, do that, and then and turn, and then it should loop should make it go higher. Or did it do that already? No. There you go. Eighty-three. There you go. If it actually hits this one, we'll see. Oh! <laughs> I should have taken it out with this one first. Eh, screw it. We'll do this. Uh, it's almost enough block. All right. Wait, wait, wait. So that's 32. That's this. I can stack block this one. That's fine. Vulnerable doesn't do anything unless I actually hit it. Just 5 is enough, right? Because 27 plus 5 is enough. enough. Alright, we'll let that one simmer. And we'll do it the next round. Unless it summons uh, more shit. Yeah, kind of took a 50-50 on that one. That's fine. Here we go. Dime. A smiling mask. The merchant's card removal service now always costs 50 gold. Well, I don't really have anything anymore. I want to... Mm, 
thinking, thinking. I mean, it is nice to be able to play a card and then put it immediately back on the top of the draw pile. So you know you can play it again next round. Uh, it will be fun with something like Aggregate. Uh, I'll take one. Just to have one. Just in the midst of the 34 cards. So it's, it's, oh shit. This is bad. This could turn out really, really bad. Okay, if we're seeking, we are looking for... What are we looking for? We're looking for... The other seek is not upgraded. If I take Apotheosis and seek, I can then upgrade all the cards, including this one, and then I can seek for two more cards, which would then be aggregate for the increased energy and I would like to go for this one however I do think that uh, it is gonna hit up to 27 right this is not gonna be this is gonna go to seven block instead if we're not doing any damage to it but we're just finding stuff none of these do any damage so I kind of need to do something so I think actually my seek should be asunder would take it down aggregate would give us enough energy to do all the other stuff after so do we take the problem is this is not fine Okay, I also have to... Oh, shit. I didn't check if I actually have a an attack. Darkness is not an attack. I don't have an attack, so I couldn't even do the bias thing yet. Okay, I think we're just gonna go aggregate Sunder. Because we'll get the energy we need. We'll get that one down to a point where it's not really a problem where we're still taking one damage. Fuck your cruel world! Alright, okay, and we'll get these into play. I accept one damage. No, because, again, the passive. I keep forgetting, keep forgetting. We're fine, we're fine! Okay, here we go. Now doing 37. We have a power, we have a skill. And an attack. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. And I have enough energy to do it. Okay. I would really like this one upgraded, though. Shit. Ah, fuck it. We can't get everything. If I'm gonna play this anyway, um. Always check what comes from the defrag. I would like that upgraded as well. But anyway, the difference between this, this would be four that goes up to five, so that's the difference here anyway. Um, so, power. Do these and then trigger the meteor after, right? This and meteor. That pops these as well. Tons of energy. The frag should probably have been played for it because that would have. No, they would only have affected the lightning anyway. Okay. Alright. It's a lot of energy. Not a lot of. Uh... Okay. Do we. 47. We can get a lot of energy and a bit of even. I actually think we use this to find the apotheosis so that we can upgrade everything. We can then... Do we rebound Chaos or Glacier? Or stack, because that's a lot of block. But then again, so is this. Alright, fuck it. We'll do this. 
we'll do 12. Do that. Energy. Energy. Stack. Chaos. More energy in this fire. Okay, here we go. So we don't have any loop anyway, so the energy wouldn't be pulsating too much anyway. We might as well just use them, get the energy, get the ice cream to move them to the next round. <laughs> okay. This is Sarah, you say. Alrighty then. I'm gonna do this, draw another card, see if we get anything that's interesting. Dual cast, that's very nice. I'll do this, I'll dual cast that one. Get get it down to a more manageable uh, level. We can then sunder it and completely destroy it. But the question is, is that necessary? It's 25, now we have 24. I do this, keep the rest. It's not, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I don't know what you're doing. Die, die! Not dying. However, I might just do Tempest just to have 24 damage on the next round. Guaranteed. But then again, I also don't have any extra energy. Fuck it. Alright, here we go. Let's see. So I need to get it down to over 70, really? Oh, no problem. Boop, done. Okay, I guess that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, I can go this if I want, it's fine. Actually, if I do this one, down to more man in four we block it and if we didn't we would have that anyway so we're fine white oh another power yes please thank you okay we're making our way slowly but surely here we are let's get this out of the way get machine learning going hello world with you orbs here we go Okay, crippled us completely. Uh, we we'll do this. We got ooh, capacity. I like. We have three energy. We will use them as follows. So let's see. That one's not upgraded. So do that. That's more than enough. We'll get another one in. We'll get this going. Okay. Now we need the uh, biased cognition. Is that what it's called? Turbo, that's nice. Okay, we can find aggregate to make sure that we have the energy. We will, do we have, we have an attack. Okay, so and we have apotheosis is the skill to upgrade everything. Biased cognition is what we need, so we play the skill, we play the power, we play the attack, and the orange pellet removes the debuff, which means we keep. Okay, let's play another power. Echo Fall, <laughs> nice. I like it. Okay, well, so far so good. Anything we wanna, yeah, we can just, because we can, we'll just do another aggregate just to add a few more points of energy. Uh, we'll end the turn here. So when they're invoked, they do 13 damage, right? Okay. 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're doing 14 block. I mean, we could... Sap, dual cast, or just dual cast sap, I think is better. 
Yeah, let's do that because that means we're also going to... Oh yeah, Echo Foam, I forgot. Uh, Echo Foam is uh, very lovely. I'll, I'll take this one just for shits and giggles. Okay, here we go. Uh, Twelve energy. Meteor? Is that what we're doing? We'll play it twice. So that's 60 damage and a shit ton of plasma orbs for the increased energy. Let's do that. Echo form does so that the first card you play each turn is played twice. This is a lot of energy. Let's get some of it back. Let's do this. Uh, we can get the loop. We do recursion just to get that one back. Darkness. If we do this, we just get a lot of energy, but we don't actually use it for anything. I'll do this just to add to it. I'll play the buffer, and then well done, sir. He took a lot of damage in that one. Jeez. So we're at twenty now. Meteor again, just to finish it off. Bye. nice for the just innate but I already have one it's just not up but it's upgraded I don't need to I don't need that one I think that's a skip do we heal we do just by entering so we're at full health now we can dig for a last random relic or we can um, upgrade this one so that it is with guarantee upgraded immediately twice now we have drawn the upgraded one we would have been able to then draw a card plus this one upgraded and then draw another two cards which would give give us three cards in our hand that we chose which would usually be apotheosis aggregate and bias cognition just to get everything started um, the problem has been that this wasn't upgraded so we can upgrade it now so that we don't end up in that situation. We could also be lucky and get apotheosis in the first you know, round and then we just pop that one and everything is solved. Um, we don't know what relic we're gonna get. We don't know if it's gonna be amazing or if it's just gonna be, like we could get something where it's like for every attack we play something happens. We don't really play that many attacks. So I don't know. It could also be something that gives us uh, extra orbs. That would be fucking lovely. For more power. Hellblazer falls asleep. Fuck you. Alright, okay, fine. We'll dig. The greed is real. What do we get? Art of War. Yeah. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain an additional energy next round. Uh, between that and the upgrade, uh, I would probably have preferred the upgrade. Anyway, this is a, uh, hello. I guess with these three being innate, we don't have that much of a choice on round one. So let's do this. Let's do this. That did not help us. Let's do a random. Metamorphosis, shovel three random attacks into your draw pile, they cost zero. Deal damage even to the number of cards in your draw pile. That's 27. That's not bad. And it costs... Does it cost two or zero, this? I forgot to read. Sometimes when you take these, it costs zero, but I don't know. Uh, uh, do we do another card draw to hope that we get... Right now, 27 wouldn't be bad, right? Zero cost. Okay, it's doing 20 because... Weakness because bat mask. Okay, but we could do this 20 plus 24 is 40 shit not enough well poo And he's coming at us with, with 20 What is this strength do we have a power we do have power we do have skill we do have this okay So since this is the boss fight we're gonna do this we're gonna do a Power. We're gonna do skill. 
We're gonna do this as an attack also, right? We're gonna do an attack. Boom. And that means uh, the negative is gone, so we still have this. And does this then do enough? It, but we don't have it. Okay, fifteen. Um, actually, if I did that five and did the other two, that one would be dead. But it doesn't matter because they're buffing anyway. Okay, recursion gives us more block. I think we are doing recursion defend. Or do we want hello world? Take some damage just to get hello world. What is this? Why is he doing more damage now? Uh, whenever you play a power, it gains a strength. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! Uh, I guess that's bad. Okay, we also don't want to... Well... Um, we just minimize the amount of damage, which would be zero because of that. Okay. Face, plants, desk. I mean, desk, plants, face? I don't know. Aggregate, my friend. To get some more. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of incoming damage. If I, let's see. If I hologram the Sunder, I can at least take out one of these, right? So, hologram. Thunder. That one goes away. Do this for a wee bit of blockage. Uh, sap to gain a little bit more. So this is 28. That's almost. Well, that is covered, but the 6 is still. Means that power will make that hit harder. I also want to wait until it's upgraded by Apotheosis. I think. <laughs> I took damage! Okay. Let's see. Vice technician. So we have skills but no attacks. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go looking for apotheosis and an attack. So attack, attack, attack. Do we do this one? Do we do that one to play a card next round? I think we do. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna upgrade everything we're then gonna play a power I know it goes up then we're gonna do uh, damage so that should all be removed then we're gonna because this is the next card played right after that should be playable again next round 32 how much damage does it has 24 left so we can do this one get that one out of the way get our power back Still has 22. Uh, let's. I want to see what power it is. Echo. I have to play it. I don't care. Okay. Let's get these done. So evokes. We get a bit more. So that we're fine. We'll get that one done. We'll save these two next round. And oh, oh. we have a bit more energy coming. Next card that we play will be played twice. We have to remember that. 23. So if we play this one, we get enough block. Okay, and I'll leave it as that just to build up some of the energy. I want to use this at some point. Is there anything we want to do? Do we want to get the loop in? Because it's not hitting us for it. It's going to get another strength, but I do like having the loop going. Yeah, okay. I'm very happy about the support in chat. Thank you very much for your, uh... It hits so fucking hard, what the hell? I'm guessing this is not one of those fights where you're just calmly waiting, you know? <laughs> and powers might not be the best. So this one will be played twice. Correct? Okay. If I then, okay. If I seek these two, 
I will play the buffer. I will play the cool headed for Mondra. Do I dual cast one of the do I darkness? I darkness. Do I chaos? I don't. Do I play this just for damage? I'm getting 44. I'm definitely playing chaos for two. Dual casting the Okay, that's a little bit better. Should have played stack while all the cards were still over here. But boohoo. We're gonna do this for. We're gonna play that. It's just a bit more, and then eight more block. If we play this, it's gonna gain more strength, which is four more damage. It's not gonna be the same as just one card, but it'll only be one of those. Okay, fine. I still wanna see what it is. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Should have still played that first. Okay, okay, okay. No, wouldn't have mattered. So we got one of them. Oh, the buffers are down. Back to 25. We are now on this one. We're gonna recur that one twice. Yep. Lots of energy. Uh, basically, what we want to do now is we want uh, Tempest. Uh, yeah. I'll do this. Just get. Uh, got this. We got this. That's enough. Okay. Next. Tempest. Tempest. Cool. Don't make me draw it on the last draw. That would just be unfriendly. Fuck you. Okay, so I can hologram the cool headed and have another chance. Cool headed. Oh, I don't get to play it before. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I can hologram then again. So I do this. I did not get it. Of course I didn't fucking get it. Okay. You know what? You know what? Hologram. We can do this again. Come on. Tempest. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Gotta love randomness, man. Alright, okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Here we go. Give me my fucking Tempest! Thank you! Oh, every time, man. Alright, enjoy! Die! Die, 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 die. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, wait. Isn't it something about it regenerates? Oh, fuck. Yeah. We're just gonna sit here and watch these orbs circle through another billion times. Yeah, I forgot that it kind of, uh... What is happening? I have to end turn as well? I like these because this is actually how I feel. Like, what is happening? Oh, that doesn't look... WHAT THE- What an asshole move. Alright, okay, so... 45! I'm, I bet there's someone in chat sitting there going, I knew, and no one said anything. Well, thank you very much. We're just gonna block all of this. Just because we can. And I'm gonna hit it with this one. Just, you know, get a bit of a... Alright, okay, fuck, fine. Yeah, bastards. Someone could have told me that. We don't have another Tempest, so uh, we're just gonna go at it uh, the, uh, the usual, the old way. Okay, let's see, the draw pile is not enough, so what we wanna do, what we want to do, is, well it's eight, and we draw one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So, even with the Mind Blast, that wouldn't matter. This would only give us one more energy. We don't want the energy there. Okay, we'll just, uh, 15 minutes is a lot. Okay, we need a little bit more blockage. There you go. You get that one. You get this one. Whatever you receive, unblock it. I guess, I mean, oh, sorry. No, yeah, it increases. It's great. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, 
asunder. Okay, uh, another 45. That's a lot of. Um, okay, so I'll. Do, oh, fuck, I keep forgetting that it does it twice. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Stack, Sabbath, move on. I really have to remember that it, it plays the card twice. Now, I did not think about this because I was only doing 23 this time. Okay, so that's. That's fine. Okay, uh. Let's draw two more cards. Twice. Now let's do Mind Blast because. Uh, it's actually not that much damage. Well, we do this anyway. Actually, I should have played this, you know, twice. Whatever. Uh, this is a lot of. Uh, that would have been that would have been better to play that twice. Learning, learning. Okay. Uh, right, let's just get the. Let's do this one. So seventy six. Do we have? What's it called? Leaf. Beetle. 1937. Yeah. 17. Very close. Well, I guess we could do this and that. We don't have enough block, right? We do not. But, but I mean, health is a resource as well, right? It's not going to regen one more time, is it? No card pickups for five minutes. What the fuck? You bastards! Ha! <sighs> Alright, okay, I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, and then uh, I'm just gonna wait for- Oh, wait! I forgot that they do- do they do 13, 13, 20? So that's- okay, yeah, no, yeah, only 8. So I should have just actually- it, yeah, I did have lethal, I just didn't want to do the math. Well, now it's dead, anyway, so, yeah, there we go. What the? Marker. Uh, sure. And, uh, you okay? Alright, here we go. Oh, that's very nice. Continue. Proceed. Oh, I'm very happy that I managed to get all the way to the heart. Well, that was it. Good fun. Uh, I get the feeling that someone would like me to get out of this game and into another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the Slay the Spire stream here and jump into Vermintide. Um, is it a pacifier on my player? What What, what do you mean? On the... Um, on the defect? I don't think so. Anyway, okay. So, um, yeah. Thank you for uh, joining and watching and, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna tab out, which means the camera should be back to fixed. I think. Yeah, alright, okay. And I'm gonna end the stream uh, here. So, we're gonna do the uh, usual uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.